I am Natasha Morano and I got involved in YouTube in about 2009. Um, my friends really were the ones to egg me on to do it. They saw that I would record myself on my phone and they're like, oh, you know, you're, you're all right at singing, so why don't you show that to everybody? And so from then on I made a YouTube account and here I am today. Uh, my name's Clinton and I started with YouTube about three and a half years ago. Um, I had a very musical upbringing, so I learned the saxophone at an early age and other instruments and I decided one day I wanted to upload something to the internet and share it with people and show them what I do. So I started recording at an early age as well, so I, I uploaded that to YouTube and it was really just a, a great platform that oh, was free, so I didn't have to go through a label or anything like that. And at the time, it was just something fun and I think the, the audience that it brought in just independently was so great. Um, we just kept going and we've built from that now. My thoughts? Um, I think that an online musician, they get to show um, how raw they are. There is no way that they are controlled by anybody else. It's their own decisions, what they want to do, how they want to sing it. Um, and they get to show th themselves and their personality. And I think that's really a, a benefit towards them rather than a person who's signed to a label. I think online musicians are very striving and loving and passionate for what they do. I think with a record label you can often lose interest in your passion and sort of, you, can, you kind of control more and it's not always a situation but being an independent musician you have a lot more freedom of creativity and you're able to express yourself in any way you desire. I mean it is hard, it's a hard thing to do and keep up but it can often be worth it being independent and later on if you do become more successful it could be a good idea to swap to a record label depending on what you're doing. <laughs> oh, there's yeah, been a few. Um, from what I can recall, this is this probably isn't the strangest, but one of them said that could I please become famous really fast so that they can date Justin Bieber? I was like, yes, but no, sorry. <laughs> um, I received quite a few nice messages and weird messages at the same time every day and I don't want to be cocky about it but man I don't even know if I could say some of the stuff that <laughs> some of the messages I've received on um, this interview but yeah there's been a lot of nice 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 positive feedback from fans online and it's been really good yeah I think that it is such a great idea um, because it, it shows off the talent that's on the internet. I mean, these are the people that are undiscovered, that um, do everything themselves. And I think it's just really good to, to give them a bit of recognition, definitely. I think the Australian Web Stream Awards are a great way to recognise uh, independent YouTubers and online video makers like myself. Uh, and give them the credit that they really deserve and work hard for. And I think it's just a fun way to get everyone together as well and kind of network and yeah, it's great. <laughs>